Hey everybody, this is Mr. Math Blog, and this lesson is uh, using equivalent ratios. This is lesson four or five in our textbook, and don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. And then this is a sixth grade lesson, so uh, there's our, our common core strand for our awesome teachers, and be nice to your teachers. Uh, and so our question here is how can we use tables to solve problems that involve equivalent ratios? Okay, so we'll do that with here. So in the summer, uh, the Bullocks like to spend their time camping in their trailer. Do you guys like to go camping? I sure do. And it's fun if you have a trailer to go camping because then you have uh, everything all set up. But anyway, so when they're pulling their trailer, their truck uses two gallons of gas to travel 12 miles. So uh, here's our ratio, two gallons to 12 miles right there. So how much gas are we going to use if the truck wants to travel 48 miles? Okay. So what are we asked to find? Well, that's always this last part right here. So how much gas are we going to use or how many gallons of gas uh, that we'll use to travel that 48 miles? So what we're going to do is solve the problem by finding equivalent ratios, okay? So here's our ratio, 2 gallons to uh, 12 miles right here. So if we put gallons on top and miles on the bottom, over here we got to have gallons on top and miles on the bottom. It just has to be the same. So we could put miles on top and gallons on bottom as long as we did the same over here, okay? So uh, here we have 2 to 12, so that's going to equal what to 48? And this, this uh, box right here is going to be our unknown number of gallons right there. All right, so uh, let's slide that up, and then we're going to go ahead and make a table of equivalent ratios. So here's this table of equivalent ratios. Let me just slide that up right there. Okay. So uh, we have, um, uh, let's see, we have the original ratio right here, 2 to 12 right there. So here we're going to multiply uh, 2 times 2. We're going to multiply it times this 2, okay? So 2 times this 2, and then down here it's going to be 2 times this 12. So we got to multiply the original ratio by the same thing right here, okay? So... Uh, so 2 times 2 equals 4, and then so this is going to be 2 right here. 2 times 12 will give us that 24 right there, okay? All right, so now we have down here 3 times 12, so what we got to do is multiply the top number times 3. So if we multiply this by 3, we got to multiply this by 3. So uh, we'll put a 3 right there, and 3 times 2 gives us that 6, and then 3 times 12 is that 36 right there. Okay, so now... What number times 12 equals 48? Well, if you can see the pattern, it's 2 times 12, 3 times 12. This is going to be 4 times 12 right there. So we're going to multiply the 4 times 2 up here. Okay, so here we have 2 times 2, 3 times 2, 4 times 2. So we're multiplying all the top numbers by the same with the bottom numbers right here. 4 times 2 equals 8. Okay, let's answer the question. So the ratios of, of 2 to 12 is the same as what over 48? It's the same as 8 over 48 right there, okay? So um, uh, they're equivalent ratios. So 2 over 12 is the same as 8 over 48. Now let's answer the question right here. So the truck will use... 8 gallons of gas to travel that 48 miles right there. Remember, miles is on, or gallons is on top and miles is on bottom, okay? Gallons is on top, miles is on bottom right there. All right, so what if the Bullock's uh, uh, truck uh, uh, uses 14 gallons of gas and explain how we can use equivalent ratios to find the number of miles the truck travels when it uses 14 gallons of gas. Okay, well what we can do is just multiply that, uh, that the original ratio, uh, every 2 gallons is 12 miles, so 2 to 12, and since we want this top number, the gallons, remember gallons is on top, we want it to be 14, then 2 times 7 equals 14, so we got to multiply uh, 12 times 7 also, and 12 times 7 equals 8. So for the 14 gallons of gas, we can go 84 miles right there. So the, the truck can travel 84 miles on those 14 gallons of gas, okay? So we can write equivalent ratios by just multiplying the top and the bottom by the same number. Okay, in this case, to answer that, we wanted 14 gallons. 14 goes on top, so we had to multiply it by 7, which means multiply the bottom by 7, okay? Hope that makes sense. All right, so use equivalent ratios to find the unknown values, okay? So... 3 over 4 is the same as what over 20, okay? Some of you guys probably know these answers already, and that's okay. Um, uh, so we're going to use common denominators to write equivalent ratios, okay? So um, uh, this number is a multiple of this number. In fact, um, uh, 4 times 5 equals 20. So 20 is a multiple of 4, so 20 will be our, our common denominator right there, okay? So what we're going to do is multiply... 
the numerator and denominator uh, by uh, 5, okay, that way we get 20. So if we multiply this by 5 and this by 5, we're going to get uh, um, uh, 20 in this denominator right here. So 4 times 5 equals 20. So we'll multiply them by 5. There we go. So now 3 times 5 is 15, and 4 times 5 equals 20, okay? So the unknown value uh, is this unknown value for right here is this 15 right here, and 3 over 4 is going to equal that 15 over 20 right there, okay? And then we can also check our answers by making a table with the equivalent ratio. So here, if we did uh, 3 to 4 right here, we can do what we did in the, the first problem right here. We can multiply uh, the top number times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5. And as long as you do that to the bottom number times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 right there. So we'll put the 2 right there. And look, 2 times 3 equals 6. And then 2 times 4 equals 8. So 6 over 8 is equivalent to 3 over 4. All right, if we did 3 times 3, then we do 3 times 4. Okay, so if we do that, uh, 3, 4, 5, we got to do the bottom by 3, 4, 5 also. And then uh, let's go ahead and do that. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 4 is 12 right there. So, so 9 over 12 is also an equivalent ratio of 3 over 4. Okay, we want to get it all the way out to 20 right there. Okay, 4 times 3 is 12. And then 4 times 4 is 16. So 12 over 16 is an equivalent ratio with 3 over 4. It's also an equivalent ratio with 6 over 8 and 9 over 12. All of these are equivalent ratios right here. Finally, 5 times 3 is 15 and 5 times 4 is 20. So we can get our uh, missing numerator by, by um, checking our answer to using the table right there. Let's try one more, you guys. Okay, so this time our unknown is in the denominator right there. So we have 56 over 42 and we want to make 56 8. So we're going to write an equivalent ratio with 8 in the numerator right there. So what we can do is uh, think um, uh, 56 divided by what equals 8 okay so as long as whatever we divide this by the top by we got to divide the bottom by okay so uh, 56 divided by 7 equals 8 right there so we're going to divide the denominator by by 7 also so as long as we divide the top and bottom by the same number we are good so 56 divided by 7 equals 8 and so we got that top number 42 divided by 7 is equal to 6, okay? So 8 over 6 is going to be the same ratio as 56 over 42. So the unknown value is 6 right there, okay? And then just like last time, we can check our answer by making a table of equivalent ratios, okay? So what we did here is we put the smaller ratio in uh, as the original ratio, and then we just kept multiplying it. So we're going to multiply um, uh, 8 over 6 times 2, times 2, and then times 3, times 3, times 4, times 4, 5, 5, and 6, 6, and finally 7 and 7 right there, okay? All right, so then we go, um, uh, so we're multiplying it times the top number, these, these pink numbers right here, and then times the bottom number. So 3 times 8 is equal to 24. 4 times 8 is equal to 32. Now, if you don't, if you if you can't remember what these are, all I'm doing, you guys, another thing is we're just adding another 8. Okay, so here's two groups of 8. Here's three groups of 8. 16 plus 8 is 24. Plus 8 is 32. Plus 8 is 40. Okay, if you don't know your multiplication tables, 40 plus 8 is 48. Finally, add 8 more. We get 56 right there. Okay, so there's our top number, 56, okay? And then we'll just keep doing that with the 6 right here. So here's 6 times 2, 6 times 3, so just add 8, is 18, 6 times 4, 6 times 5, 6 times 6, finally 6 times 7, so here's 56 over 42, 56 over 42, and it gave us uh, an equivalent ratio of 8 over 6. All right, you guys, I hope that lesson makes sense, and take care. Say hi to your teacher for me.